All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, that was Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Shia Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in on this lesson, or the title of this video will be called Our Hebrew Israelites Radical, okay? Uh, inside quote, quotation marks, okay? And um, I'm going to answer that uh, question according to the definition or the etymology of what the word radical really means, okay? Um, compared to how the world uses this word radical, okay? Now, um, I have the etymology of the word radical which um right here the adjective you know how people say you know you got radical uh views or whatever okay it says in a medieval uh philosophical sense okay it says of or having roots um uh, root um the word rad w r a d um it says branch Root meaning going to the origin essential. Okay, you know, see what the word essential um mean also. Um it says absolutely necessary, extremely important. Okay, a thing that is absolutely necessary. Okay. Um it says uh going to the origin essential okay um and the word started about you know 14 the 14th century okay and then around the 16 1680s you know that's when the uh the word radical uh became uh known in the, uh mathematics or whatever okay and then it says uh from a political sense uh the word reformist Okay, which is the opposite of radical, uh, a reformist. It means uh, a, a change from the roots. Okay, so um, according to the scriptures, okay, uh, people are saying, or in this society are saying that um, Israelites are radical. Okay, which the, the definition for radical means to have roots. Okay, when you go into the word rad, Okay, you have different, well, it says um, branch or root, okay? And it, is, it goes into different uh, words of, you know, it says it, it forms all or part of, you know, these different words, okay? And the word, one of the words that it forms is the word root, okay? Which the word root means fix or firmly attach by roots, Pull up by the root, okay. It says now, now, nowadays, nowadays they're saying uproot, okay. But the word root, um, it, uh, originally meant to uh, fix or from be a firmly attached by roots or to pull up by the root, okay. Um, and then it has you know root as in chair support, okay. Uh, study or work hard. Okay, um, dig up with the snout, dig with the snout to root up, okay, to dig out, to root, okay, to plow up, um, and you know, these are, this is the word that, um, that people are, uh, are, are trying to equate us to, but they don't know the meaning of what this, um, word actually means the word radical okay which the word radical you know originally meant uh being rooted okay or having having an origin okay um now i want to go into the scriptures okay on basically how uh hebrew israelites are radical okay this is Jeremiah 2 
and 21. Yet I had planted you a noble vine. Okay? See what the word noble means. Or noble vine. Okay? It says choice species of vine, gr choice grapes. Okay? It says a vine stock, redness, uh, choice, uh, wine. Okay? Uh, the richest variety. You know, just to name some different uh, words or whatever. Okay, uh, but the Lord said, yet I have planted you a noble vine, holy a right seed. Okay, how then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Okay, and this, this scripture right here also cuts these people who sits up there and say that the Bible, um, things have changed since, you know, biblical days and stuff like that well the lord made us right from the beginning man he gave us his law statutes and commandments okay of how he want us to live as a people but now when you see how things are you know you see people just not even following what the lord uh gave them the lord gave us firm roots man on, on what he want us to, to, how he want us to live according to life, man, is, is Israelites, okay, he, he, he made us, he, 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 you know, we was, we was living wonderful, a lot of people always sit up there and say that, you know, we were, we was kings, and, you know, we was doing good and stuff like that before the so-called white man came, well, why was we doing good, man, because we, we, the Lord, the Lord put us in that position, okay, then he took it away from us, man. He, he rooted us up out of that land that we was in, okay? Now, you see how people out here, you know, so far gone, you know, a, a degenerate plant, man, okay? Not bringing forth uh, real fruit, you know? You just you just see a lot, of, a lot of people out here out for themselves and stuff like that, man, okay? Um, but the scriptures say that, yet I, I had planted you a noble vine, holy, a right seed, Okay, because the Lord gave us the scriptures and, you know, the, the things that he want us to do, you know, as, as people. Okay, it says, it's Ecclesiastes 7 to 29. Lo, this only have I found that that God, okay, I'm going to say it verbatim, okay, which is the most high's name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shah. It says that God have made man upright. But they have sought out many inventions, okay? When you go into the word inventions, okay, it says uh, device or invention, okay? Them wicked, them wicked uh, thoughts that, that people be having, man, okay, in this society, you know, all, all to, to, to get away from, you know, straying away from what the Lord uh, made us, man, okay? Um, it says Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 1 and 20 in the Apocrypha, right? It says the root of wisdom, which y'all say that, that we're radical, right? When the, the word radical means going to the origin, the, 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 to, it says the root of wisdom, the origin of wisdom, okay? The origin of who we are as a people comes from the scriptures first off okay um and it's through the spirit that we're we're israelites you know the lord made our bloodline who we are man okay um it says the root or the beginning or the origin of wisdom is to fear the lord okay and when y'all say that you know we're radical okay well the, the 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 point of the matter is that you know we we fear the Lord, man. It's a wise thing to fear the Lord, man. Because when you look in the scriptures, you see a lot of people, you know, who didn't have the Lord as you know, they they didn't fear the Lord, and the Lord took them out, man. Okay, it says, and the branches thereof are long life, and that's what we 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 want want, man. Okay, we want to 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 live forever. Okay. Because, and how do you live forever, man? Through the scriptures, okay? Nowhere in America do you have um, signs or, or, 
showings of a person that lived to be over 900 years old, okay? Or, or, or somebody that died and came back to life unless the doctors, you know, done, done tried some old crazy type of thing, you know, on these people. But even still, you know, the life expectancy of people in this society, you know, it's not, it's not long, okay? It, it, and, and one of the reasons, well, the main reason why it's not long is because the, the, these people aren't doing what the Lord told them to do, okay? And we have hope that if we do what the Lord saved for us to do, then we, you know, we'll have that, that long life, that, that everlasting life, okay? Um, Colossians 2 and 7, it says, rooted and built up in him. So when you come to this, these, this truth, okay, how do you get rooted and built up in the Lord, man? Through the scriptures, okay? Living by every word that's written in the scriptures. Not make, well, first off, the Lord has to be dealing with you. You have to be one of the Lord chosen, okay? Um, you have to be rooted up and built up in the Lord, okay? It's, it says, established in the face. Faith is you have been taught. You have, have to be taught the right way, okay? Of how to be rooted, okay? Which we have the apostles, okay? Um, and the elders, okay? You have camp leaders and stuff like that, 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 that teach you how to serve the Lord, man. It says, abounding therein with thanksgiving, okay? Um, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, you know, which that's that uh, re reformist, okay, that the, the change from the roots, okay, the change from who you, who, who we was, you know, the, the things that we um, norm, used to do is, is, is Israelites before, okay, it says after the tradition of men, okay, which the, once again, that's their reform. Okay, to change from the roots of who we are, you know, and a lot of people, you know, they 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 uh change that man, you know, saying that the so-called white man ain't the devil, um, guys taking money, okay, selling out, you know, uh, Israel. It says after the rudiments of the world, and not after Yahweh Shah, you know, when you want, if you really want to get, you know, established, once you get taught, you know, and you gotta, you gotta. Look at what Yahweh Shah did, man, because he's the author and the finisher of our faith, okay? Um, this is Proverbs 2 and 22, okay? It says, but the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out, okay? And that's what that, that word root, man, okay? So, so... You you people want to sit up there and say that we're radical or you know as the word radical when you when you go into the word uh it means uh branch or root okay but y'all people want to sit up there and say that you know we're we're radical as an extremist right and when you know this is just to show that people don't know what the heck they're talking about it says a person who holds extreme or fanatical political or religious views especially one who resorts to or advocates extreme action, okay? It says fanatic, radical, zealot, fundamentalist, hardliner, militant, activist, and formal ultra, okay? And, you know, you want to uh, put these terms on us, which, you know, these terms, you know, do apply, you know? And it's not to say that, that, that we're not... Um, radical or, or have extreme views because the scriptures say what they say man okay um the the transgressors are going to be rooted rooted out man you know it is this is not our words this is this is what the lord wrote man okay um this is matthew 15 and 13 but he answered and said every plant which my my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up okay the the, the transgressors Okay, the, 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 the wicked, they're going to be cut off, okay? Um, every plant that the Lord didn't plant, man, they're going to be rooted up and destroyed, man. Okay? Um, this is uh, Hosea 9 and 16. Ephraim is smitten, their root is dried up. Okay? And, and when you look at, you know, the, the Israelites, okay, especially, you know, the northern kingdom, Okay, some of them know who they are, you know, 
but th this scripture says they're smitten, you know, that these people, you know, when you go in South America and stuff like that, you know, they still worshiping, you know, idols and stuff like that, okay, um, it says their root is dried up, they shall bear no fruit, okay, and, and, and this is going into the so-called white man, uh, basically, you know, covering the faces of the judges, man, okay, controlling the world. Now, you don't have the, the, the northern kingdom, okay, which are the, you know, predominantly the, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. You don't have them raising and teaching their children that they're Israelites, according to the Bible, okay? I, those people, the people, the, 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 the Ephraimites, okay, are, are, or the northern kingdom are so gone, man, so far gone. It says, though they bring forth, yet will I slay even the beloved from the from I mean even the beloved fruit of the womb of their womb. Okay? So even though they you know these Ephraimites, you know, the northern kingdom are bring up bringing, you know, a lot of, you know, children or, or people uh forth, you know, the Lord, you know, uh that 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 plant, okay, is still a degenerate plant, man. Okay? It's still a degenerate people, man, because the Lord didn't call them um, uh, Mexican and uh, um, Puerto Rican and, you know, whatever else, Brazilian and, and, and words like that, man. Those words are not in the scriptures, man. Okay? The Lord told you, you're, you're an Ephraimite, you know. Um, you're an Issacharite, okay. These are the terms that, that the Lord has, has, has given these people. It says, my God will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him, and they shall be wanderers among the nations, okay? So, the the the, the so-called Mexicans and, you know, the Latinos and Native Americans, okay, they, they, the Lord casting them away, man, but now he's bringing them back, okay, and to, you know, the, the, the he's grafting them back in because they're, they're, they're Israelites, man. Okay, um, and only ones that can come back onto the Father, you know, are the are the Israelites, man. Okay, but with that said, you know, because people want to sit up there and say um, extremists, you know, as if we're going out here and you know killing people and stuff like that. Well, I want to have the I want to get this scripture, you know, before um before I close out this lesson. Okay, it's John eighteen and one when when. When Yahweh Shah, or the one of the world, anybody calls Jesus, has spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook Cedron, where was a garden into the which he entered in, and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place for Yahweh Shah, the one who y'all called Jesus, oft times resorted thither, thither, so like it says, uh, thither with his disciples. Judas then having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, you know, a, a group of men, cometh thither, thither with ladders and torches and weapons. Yahweh, the one y'all call Jesus, ignorantly, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? Then I mean, they answered him, Jesus of Nazareth, Yahweh of Nazareth. Yahweh said unto them, I am he, and Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon as they, as soon then, as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Yahweh of Nazareth. Yahweh answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way, that the sand might be filled, fulfilled, which he spake of them, which thou gavest me, have, I mean, of them, which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, and smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear, the servant name was Malchus. Then said Yahweh saw unto Peter, Put up your sword into your into the seat. The cup which my father has given me, shall I not drink it? Okay. 
so the thing is, man, you know, and and and, and the Lord put that man ear back onto his, you know, his his ear, man. Okay, it's different accounts with it, you know, where it says that. Okay, but the Lord, you know, um, Simon Peter, when 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 uh, these men came to grab up the Lord, okay, um, Simon Peter pulled out a sword and and cut off a man's ear, man. Okay, and what the Lord said to him, man, you know, the cup that the you know put up your sword, you know, so so you people want to sit up there and say that you know we're 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 uh, extremists or you know uh, somebody that's going to go do some 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 crazy stuff. You ain't going to see no Israelite, you know, just go out here and go go commit suicide bombing, man. That's not of Israel, man. Okay, go and go. You know, the the elect of Israel is not going to go out here and go do some some stupid stuff, man. Okay, like as far as like grabbing guns, you know, as if we can fight the military, man. Okay. We're we're not we're not stupid in that man. We're 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 rooted in 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 the Lord, and we know that the Lord is going to come and He's going to destroy this place, man. Okay, and that's pretty much the point, man. Okay, the elect is going to be rooted in Yahweh by Simeon Okay, so with that, man, hopefully this lesson uh, was edifying. I want to say Salawam till next time.